Hello my quilting family. Today we're going to cover uh, minis doing it by just plain piecing. Now I'm going to put all the cutting instructions in the show notes below. I um, did a little cheating on this. I made the, some of the pieces just a little bit bigger so I could trim them down. But it actually works out. And this is the block we're looking at. Right? You have to make 16 of these to make a 12 and a half inch unfinished churn dash mini block. So I'm hoping you try these. These are so cute. I just can't believe it. So let's get started. We're just going to quickly run through um, the, the sewing. You're just going to do, I've got a six and a half inch length here of both a white and a brown fabric. Like I say, all the cutting instructions, everything are going to be in the show notes. And we're making four half square triangles. They're very quick to sew up because they're such short seams, but they are, it's just that you have to be very intense, intentional with them. Now, I'm just gonna run this through. I have no idea where my leader and enders are right now, so that's fine. Now, normally we would be pressing and all the rest of this stuff, but there is something here with these minis that I need to tell you. Starch is your friend before you cut your pieces, which I forgot to do when I was doing this. And when you're, you're pressing these, press the back seam open. Because that's going to give you the extra thread or two that you're going to need. So I'm going to press this thing open. I'm just going to finger press it here. Because I think it'll, it'll speed things up. But finger press open, right? I know that's not what we've been doing all along with these. But a mini, you need those extra threads. And because of the turn of the cloth, you, you're not going to have all those, those uh, extra threads that you're going to need. I'm just going to clip these. So, press open. Starch. Because that makes it a little easier to trim too. And it makes it easier to press open. And so, and everything else. The other thing too is to cut your pieces right away. That's good. See, I'm just finger pressing them open. And actually, what I'm doing is I'm using my nail to put a lot of pressure on that, those pieces to bend them, right? Now, it doesn't sound like, you know, you're only talking like a few threads. You don't have ease when you're doing a lot of, like, the smaller piecing. Sometimes, you know, when you're, you're cutting a little off or whatever, you know, you have ease and you can play with stuff and get it to in. Like when you're doing a mini, you don't have that. So you need to be a little bit more precise. So that will help you out a lot. So what we're just gonna do is I'm gonna take these now and I'm just going to cut them into one and a half inch squares. But first I'm gonna make sure that this whole thing is one and a half inches wide. Right, so I want to make sure it's a perfect one and a half inch wide. So that means I'm going to run the three a three quarter inch line right through the middle of that of that piece, that strip piece, and I'm going to trim off both sides because now I know I'm going to have a perfect half inch block. So I do it on the other side, run it up your three eighths or three quarters. Now we're going to trim a wee bit off. Now this is six and a half inches. You really only need six inches, but you have to have something to trim. So, you know, that's why we went with this. And now we just cut them into one half pieces, one half inch squares. And we're using the fine lines on my Ulfa ruler. Ruler. I just love this ruler. The lines on there are so fine, so you can get really close. And there we are. So there's all our cutting. So now we're just going to basically put
put this into our churn dash. We're going to put all the color toward the center. The accent piece here is yellow and then all the color triangles to the center. And now we're just going to sew them like we would on a web tutorial. Now, it's a different, little bit different tactic when you're when you're uh, doing them, but it really gets the perfect result you need for your mini. Your mini can't. Sometimes people when they do minis, they're not taking a lot of time, and they flip over seams and they. No, it just doesn't doesn't look right, or the work becomes very lumpy because they have it pressed open. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press with my fingers. Now, I probably should do an iron, but or I don't want to drag these out so that you have to watch like half an hour of ironing either. Okay, now. We're just webbing the block like we've done. We want to make sure that we want to make sure that both sides stay open. Both seams on both sides of this stay open. So you can feel that with your fingers. And stop short of the edge. And again, you got another one there. You don't want the, the seam to flip that will cause a bump. Okay. Now, we're just going to press them open the way I, I want them to go. Now, I'm just going to flip them over because now they're now these little itty bitty seams are going to nest and you want to make sure everything stays open. You don't want to flip your flip the seam open the wrong way. So I'm just going to get in here with my scissor and just pop open, open that connector thread. Nesting my seam, making sure that seam is nested perfectly. And like I say, there's no ease on these blocks. There's no way you can, you know, you can kind of cheat and make them work when they're this small. Your feed dogs do actually a really good job of easing in stuff, right? So, now I'm going to take this seam and I'm also pressing this one open as well. The back seam that I just did, I'm going to make sure that one's pressed open. And now we'll do the last quick seam. And if I can get my hubby cameraman sweetheart to hold it up for you, we can talk him into that again. You can see how this is going to look. All right, here, make sure that it doesn't slip. There we go. Finger press the back open. That's another reason why you cut your disconnecting threads in case you have to start pressing open here. And well, I'm going to give this to my cameraman to hold up to you guys. It's cute. Isn't it a cute little mini? Isn't it cute? Okay, so that now, what you would do with this, you'd press it really good, give it a good press, trim it to three and a half inches, right, because it's going to finish at three inches in your quilt, and that's how you piece a mini. I had so much fun doing this for you. We're, our next segment is going to be about how to make the quilts out of all these little blocks that we've made, including the big bags of four patches and triangles and 16 patches and pinwheels and whatnot of all the leftover stuff and that's going to be in about another week. So we're going to have fun making charity quilts. Okay, you have a great day. Bye! 
If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also while you're there, like, share and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.